let's uh you know what i'm gonna get some free uh, therapy here um let's let's analyze my first panic attack because i think it will be a good example for folks um because it came out of the blue as you as you had mentioned so i was on tv i was on the air and i didn't have an urge to pee i was worried mm -hmm. i was going to pee mm -hmm. as silly as that sounds and then i launched into full panic attack mode at that point so explain to me what was happening there well it sounds like uh as an anxiety symptom you had this intrusive thought uh, that's all it was it was just a thought right right and that's all that's all you need you had the intrusive thought oh my god i'm gonna pee right here while i'm on the camera and i have to do something about that i'm going to take that thought uh uh not as an uncomfortable thought not as well that's kind of goofy what a, an unpleasant distraction while i'm doing my program here i'm going to take that thought as a threat as a threat and now i have to oppose that thought uh, i have to protect myself against that thought I, I try to get it off my mind i try to stop thinking about it maybe i am uh, trying to figure out how can i signal them to cut the cameras uh, what should I do? All you have is a thought, uh, but you're probably responding to that thought as if it's a threat. And then you got to do something about it rather than just humor the thought and go on about your business. So then my body and my thoughts were not talking to each other properly. Uh, yeah, your, your thoughts were not describing accurately what was going on in your body. Uh, uh, you were nervous and uh, you got the signal that this means you're going to pee uncontrollably, that you're going to lose control of your bladder. And, and there's always an issue there. Many of the thoughts are always about you're going to lose control of, of your voice, of your heart, uh, whatever. Uh, you're you're going to lose control, and, and that's going to that's going to be disaster. Okay. What did I do wrong? And and I shouldn't say wrong, but what could I have done at that point? um and it's it's tough to to answer really i think be, because you know i'd never experienced i didn't know what was going on right so so right. when you get these thoughts especially if you've had panic attacks before how do you how do you unthink something how do you tell yourself wait a minute it's okay yeah um well and you said two very different things there unthink something or tell yourself it's okay <laughs> you, you you can't unthink something uh once you got a thought uh you can't go back and erase it the only thing you can do is get into an argument with it oh come on i'm not going to pee yes you are uh no but, but, but what if you do and and so what's happening now now i'm just talking to, about pee to myself uh so that you know you, you can try and unthink it but that just means you're arguing with your thoughts and that's going to make a person more anxious okay uh so um What's the opposite of, of uh, unthinking? Unthink, uh, accept? Yes, yeah. All right, I'm having that thought again about peeing. I wonder okay. if I could hit the first row from here. <laughs> I'm gonna play with that thought. Because uh, I, I don't get to wow, pick and you're, choose you're lightening what thoughts it up. I have. Mm -hmm, you're lightening mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. This is not a disaster. You know, no, this, this, is, this is a discomfort. Yeah. Wow. And, and and that's the trick right there. If I treat that thought as a sign of disaster, well, I'm 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 going to get in for more difficulty and fear now. And if I can treat it as the discomfort it is, then I can probably lighten it up and move back to what I want to be doing at the moment.